Alright, what we're looking at next is P4, which is about polynomials, and we're going to try to understand the vocabulary of polynomials, add, subtract, multiply polynomials, uh, perform operations with several variables, or uh, several polynomials and several variables. So, let's see if we can't look at the vocabulary a little bit. For starters, standard form. Standard form are the degrees in descending order. Okay, so what you need to do is we'll talk about how to find the degree right here. Uh, the degree of a polynomial, find the sum of the exponents of each term not the sum of the polynomial exponents. The highest value determines the degree. So what we'll do, uh, to determine the degree of a polynomial, you'll take each term, okay, look at the variables, and look at their exponents. If there's only one variable, then the exponent of that variable determines the degree of that term. If there are multiple variables, you add them together to determine the degree of that term. Whichever term has the highest degree, that's going to determine the degree of the polynomial. In standard form, you just start with the highest uh, exponent or term that has the highest degree and you work your way down. So we'll look at an example. For starters, uh, it says terms are separated by a plus or a minus sign. So for instance, this is one term. There's a plus sign, so that separates this term. So that's two terms. A minus sign, so that's three terms. And then a plus sign, so four term polynomial. All right, uh, what you need to know is that the, obviously the, uh, the sign goes with the term that goes after it. So a positive 7x, negative uh, x cubed. Let's see if we can't find the degree. So the degree of this term right here is 2. The degree of this term is 1. The degree of this term is 3. And then a constant actually has a degree of 0. A lot of people will tell me that has a degree of 1 also, but it's not. Only a linear term with a variable of x has a degree of 1. So of those, the highest one is 3. All right. Uh, so to write it in standard form, we would start th with the highest one. So negative x cubed, and then plus x squared, and then plus 7x, and then plus 9. So that is the uh, descending order, the standard form for that polynomial uh, that has a degree of 3. Here you go. Uh, we're going to learn how to talk in polynomials. So uh, we're going to look at a couple things, how to name things based on their degree and also their number of terms. So if you have a degree of 0, then uh, your polynomial is a constant. A degree of 1 is linear, 2 is quadratic, 3 is cubic, and 4, anything more than 3, we just say 4th degree polynomial. In terms of your number of terms, you cannot have 0 terms. The minimum you could have is 1, and that's called a monomial. 2 would be a binomial, uh, if you have 3 terms trinomial, and then anything larger than that, you'll just call it a 4 term polynomial. Looking at this one, uh, as you can see, we've got this. This is the three-term polynomial. There are three terms, and what we're going to try to do is try to find the degree. All right, so we look at this term. Now, as you can see, we have multiple variables. So anytime you have multiple variables, you'll add them together. So this term has a degree of 7. When you add the exponents here, you get a degree of 8. Y's exponent is 1, so when you add those together, you get 6. So the degree of our polynomial in this case will actually be 8. Okay. Now, when you write this in uh, what they call standard form, usually what they'll do when you have multiple variables is you'll start with the one that comes first alphabetically and then work your way down. So uh, x comes first alphabetically, so we'll start with that. So we're going to start with the highest degree of the x, and then x to the fifth y, and then plus x to the fourth y to the fourth. So as you can see, what we've done is we've started with our variable that comes first, Work your way down so that x has descending exponents. There you go. Next, what we're going to talk about is polynomials. Uh, to be a polynomial, certain things have to happen. Uh, one is the exponents have to be non-negative integers. So you can't have uh, certain things. In fact, if you want to do it as a positive spin, you can say they have to be whole number exponents. So things that we cannot have for a polynomial to be a polynomial uh, you cannot have negative exponents because obviously those are not whole numbers. And you cannot have fractional exponents because those are not whole numbers either. What that also means is you can't have variables in the denominator because if you look up here, if you have a negative exponent, you could easily write that so that it looks like this. Now this is the same thing as this, so therefore this does not represent a polynomial. Other thing, if you have a fractional exponent, that's the same thing as a variable under the radical is something we studied just a little while ago. The 1 on the top means the exponent, the 2 is the index. So this really means the square root of x. 
So therefore, that is the same thing, and therefore, this is also not a polynomial. So you have to have uh, whole number exponents. Leading coefficient. Leading coefficient is the coefficient of term with the highest degree. This can be easy or hard. It just kind of depends. We'll look at an example. Uh, looking at this one, right now, it's easy if it's in standard form. If it's in standard form, then the leading coefficient is the term, uh, the coefficient of the term with the highest degree. But if it's not in standard form, it's not this that determines the leading coefficient, not the one that comes first. It's the coefficient of the term with the highest degree. So if it's in standard form, it's going to be the coefficient of the first term. If it's not in standard form, you have to determine the term that has the highest degree and look for its coefficient.